Tate Schmidt re-entering at left back, the first teamer in the fold. And then you look up front as well, Matteo Di Morelli. They've trotted out five changes from last week's 3-2 defeat against Ventura County and two first teamers entering the fold, a familiar face in Michael Venzel. The lack of an ability to suffer vis-a-vis -vis their earlier performances. And we are finally underway from Sabercat Stadium in Houston. Third only as far as Schmidt. And comes to Silla. This is Siegel. May have taken a touch on the way. Well, we received word that the McKenna foul was not actually cautioned, so take away the yellow. Cross comes in off the off the post. Gabe Siegel getting his dome to it. The outswinger here. Siegel with terrific movement in the box. And he would have thought that was destined for the bottom left. One final foray towards goal. It's Siegel and Gonzalez. Siegel has a hit, and oh, what a strike! An unbelievable free kick from Siegel, and Houston's in front. This is astonishing. Perfect dip to it, bounces and nestles in the bottom left. It's where he aimed the earlier header. He makes no mistake that time from well. Silla. Unable to keep it in play, and that is where we end our first half. Set to get back underway here from Houston. Dynamo Dos looking to notch their fifth win in the last seven. St. Louis looking to avoid their fourth consecutive defeat. And has looked the part of the National Player of the Year in college soccer. This comes through to Gonzalez in space. Looking to cut it across. And there were just no orange shirts to greet it. And only as far as Kijima. Another cross in. It falls for Joyner. It's off the crossbar. Still loose, and Valdez able to claim. Well, great effort here. First time from Joyner, who just hits this on the volley and narrowly missing that top left. And they, it would be eight places separating them. That tells you all you really need to know about how tight the West is. Just five points separate St. Louis from the eighth spot. Kijima playing it forward. It's still loose for Kijima, and there's the leveler. Jose Kijima brings St. Louis on a level playing field. And what a clinical finish it was. They were beginning to mount pressure, and the Houston back line cracked. Kijima in his first next pro start in a few months' time, paying major dividends. You see him pick it up here, and he just roams forward. Links well with Locker. There is the full-time whistle. Jose Kijima strikes, salvaging a point for St. Louis, and sends us to penalties with an extra point in the standings on the line. Venzel against Valdez to begin the shootout. And Venzel's off the crossbar. Had Valdez beaten. But... Against Bishop. And drives it home. Bishop guesses the right way. A solid performance tonight. Some final third frustration. Trying to pull St. Louis's first, and he does. Valdez guessing properly. Joiner with just enough placement. Who is very green in these situations and driven well into the bottom left. Mikina spent the entire match at center back tonight. Has been a mainstay in the lineup. One of his first forays into penalties. And he finishes. And it's saved. Xavier Valdez denies him. Schmidt against Bishop for all the marbles. And he drives it underneath him. Just beyond the outstretched boot. Dynamo does secure the additional point. And Houston comes away with two points. A clinical finish. Bishop just diving out of the reach.